Hello, I'm Tristan. I recently wanted to hang a recently purchased Shark steam mop on our wall because the steam pads get very hot during use. This means that naturally, if I left it on the floor right after use, it would start to damage our flooring over time. Unfortunately, you can't simply go out and buy a simple wall hook with the Shark steam mop because the handle is at a right angle to the steam pads, which are at the bottom meaning that the mop would stick out from the wall a lot due to the steam pads hitting against the wall. So I went looking for solutions. I did find a 3D printed wall bracket on Etsy, but it was based over in America, so it would have cost £33, which is $45 due to international shipping. As a result, I built my own using some mop holders that I found on Amazon. The only flaw with these is that they don't stick out from the wall enough. And this basically means that the top handle of the shark steam mop would hit against the wall still. I could have used a wooden block here to push out of it, but instead decided to use nylon space as the line around. Since I was mounting these on plasterboard, I drywall, I use gripper fixings, which are easy to use and work really well. They give a good secure fixing. So I drilled the wall, I installed the gripper fixings, and then I screwed through the nylon spaces to install the mop holder and it was jetted out from the wall. This was easy enough to do and it led to a pretty good result, in my opinion. It's now easy to hold our shark steam mop on the wall and it makes the space feel a lot neater and tidier and it's going to protect the flooring. One downside, of course, is that the myelin spaces don't look the best, in my opinion, but I think that I'd still prefer using the, these to using a block of wood. In terms of the cost, this was a lot cheaper than the Etsy option. The mop holders were around £1.70 each. I did purchase a pack. I'll use the rest of my garage um, and add the spaces and the screws lying around. But even if I didn't, the two spaces and 70mm screws they used would have cost less than the fiber. So let's say it was £6 or $8 in total. That's pretty good value in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the thumbs up button. Please also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.